got another 1911 out here today and it's another t-sauce uh, I'll link in the description to the other t-sauce video we shot just your standard uh, pre-covid $350 uh, t-sauce I think now they're around four or four fifty uh, but this is kind of the next one up that they offer uh, first of all disclaimer these are aftermarket grips but man don't they just look make that look fantastic so this is the 1911 a1 service model so a little spiffier it's got a different uh nicer looking finish on it there stainless barrel which really makes it pop and uh like i said we threw this on here so it comes with one eight round mag but today we got these two rugers out here and there's a metgar in it currently uh, the sights are a little different on it too there's your sight picture they just look like ever so slightly smaller and more precise I would say like especially the front blade anyways I don't have much to say about it it's a 1911 I'm excited to shoot it so let's go run it yeah I'm gonna let Preston go first and then I'll run it which target you taking middle Really hard to pick up on those targets. <laughs> there you go. So he was saying that those sights are hard to pick up against those black targets, which I've experienced that as well when you got those all black sights like that. They're great for target shooting on like bright targets, but uh, if you're on a black target, they're hard to see sometimes. Oh, the magnet's in it, and the next one I'm going to run, it's got those uh, Federal High Shock 185-gram hollow points in it. I just hit the same hole down there three times. Yeah. <laughs> well, not that time. <laughs> Out of bullets. Yeah, I like it. It's really accurate. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's these grips, but that's probably the most steady 1911 I've ran so far. You know, it really helps. These real sticky rubber, and then, you know, it doesn't let my finger slide or anything either, but I'm really liking the how precise that front blade is against those bright targets, and then this grip. And it's just making me real steady at pinpoint. I really like the way this feels running it. That's the other thing to notice about this compared to the 
the regular T sauce, the base model, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to call it here, but you guys will know which one I'm talking about. Is the uh, slide on this is so much more smooth. It's like it's like it's riding on glass. So I really like that too. It's got a more high quality feel to it, whereas the the base one it uh, it's a little bit gritty. <laughs> I was like, how long till he brings it back down to start hitting it again? <laughs> Doesn't want to stay down. Uh. See, I wasn't a huge fan of the uh, the bare met uh, bare basics tea sauce that we featured, but I'm really loving this one. I can tell you that a big part of that's this grip, which obviously it doesn't come with. You got to add that. Um, so it's hard to like judge the ergonomics and, and such in comparison because the grip has single-handedly changed the ergonomics more than anything else. But uh, I really love the way this thing looks right now. It's like a perfect look. And uh, like I said, it's real good balance and grip. And I like the sights as long as I'm not aiming at black, real precise and whatnot. But at least the way it's set up with this grip, I really like it. And I can tell you over there, I was moving around on the target a little bit. But those three that went in the same hole, I could tell on each one of those shots I got a real good release and the blade was in the exact same spot right under bullseye where I was holding each time and each time the, the bullet went in the same hole three times in a row. So this is probably going to be another one of those 100-yard uh, capable 1911s. We've done a few videos like that, taking a few guns, not just 1911s out to 100 yards, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be another one. So... We're going to actually head out to the rifle range here in a second and take a few shots out there. I don't know if it'll be added to this video or not, but we will see. If not, I'll definitely be featuring a long range video on it later. Yeah, that's about all I got to say. Uh, uh, I'm in love with it for the price. I mean, it, it looks like a $900 gun and it seems to run about like one too. So I'm really digging this thing. I really like it. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button for me if you want to be notified when I post. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, click all, uh, and catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.